Well, hey folks, Species 7 here. Welcome back to the Minibrin Farm, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so once again, I had to uh, start the game and then quit out. Well, put it to 1x time. Quit out and then restart the game to stop it from doing the, uh, the five-frame stutter. See, now that I'm back in the game, I can jump it back up to 5x and the shadows can do what they want but yeah not uh, not impressed and I've never seen that before so I can only uh, I can only surmise because I haven't seen it before that it is in fact uh, a map related thing but that's okay it's not that big a deal I have to try and remember to uh, set the time to 1x before I quit the game, I guess, so that it'll actually start in 1x. Or I'm going to have to uh, do the double log like I've been doing so far. Alright, let's get you ready to uh, suck up some crops. Yes, we're going to enable a straw swath. There we go. Nope. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. Yeah, let's go. I do hope everybody is doing well today, enjoying, well, I guess it would be the start of the weekend, actually. It is a Friday as I record this, but uh, it will be a Saturday as it goes up. Looks like we're definitely going to get some rain out here on the Sunshine Coast today, which is nice because, uh, well, we could actually use it. Pretty patchy straw. Right? Now, I think everything off of this field is going to be sold. So that's the oat and the straw, because I still have most of the straw we got last time stacked out at the pig farm, and in fact until I get rid of some of it, I can't put, uh, well, not that we have the money, but I can't put the uh, mixer out there until we actually get rid of some of what is there. So hopefully we get a decent dollar for our oats. And, uh, Another decent dollar for our uh, straw. Oh, I don't actually want to go down that side. I want to go up the other side. Because I'm going to run a second swath at the top. Mm. 
I'm just curious. What do we actually have? Um, okay, we have a little bit of wheat. We have a very little bit of barley. We have a bit of oats, a bit of canola. Well, we already have sunflowers, according to this. Hmm. We still have... Oh, this must be digestate. Because I guess some of what we sold or dumped into the uh, the digesters actually got turned into digestate. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, it doesn't show the uh, silage in the bunker. Well, I guess that's this silage in the bunker. It doesn't show us as actually having any, but of course we do. It's just in the BGA's bunker. So it looks like we have a little of everything. So yeah, I'm going to... Uh, <clears throat> oh, did I not lower that? There we go. So yeah, we'll definitely just simply sell everything off this field then. We knew, do knew, do need to be building our monies up. Why do I seem to be slipping off to the side here so much? Throw another headland down. God, this thing is just absolutely the worst for turning. I think I've used most of the harvesters in the game, and I don't recall any of them being quite this bad. So we've certainly been uh, busy on this farm. Would have thought we'd have generated a little more coin by now. Mm -hmm. I'm trying not to spend too much of it. It's just what we've needed. Oh yeah. I think I do have the economy on difficult though, so that might be a portion of it. We're just not going to get really, really good dollars for our products. And of course, different maps have different economies set up on them. You know, some maps that silage would be selling for 2,000 something per hundred, and on this one it's selling for less than, less than half a thousand.
Yeah, that two headings helped. We don't have to drive all over our sunflowers now. What are we at here? Ooh, almost four in the afternoon, eh? Well, we'll certainly get this field done today. I'm not sure about the neighboring one. Sixty-four percent, sixty-five. That's after seven rows and two headlands. Hmm. Well, I hope I didn't just leave a row of uh, a row of oats in place. No. No, it looks like I actually got all of it. A little black. I think this is the first time I've gone this long in a series without uh, cutting any grass. <laughs> Usually by now we'd have at least mowed one, uh, one trailer's worth of grass. But we didn't, uh, we didn't start with cows this time, we're starting with the piggies. So, and they're not that fond of the grass. No matter what the sheep or the cows might have to say, the pigs are just not that fond of grass. Hmm. Well, hopefully we can get through this next row without completely filling up. Otherwise, we're going to be on the wrong side for the pipe again. Pretty sure an airplane just flew overhead. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure an airplane just flew overhead. And then apparently flew off into the Bermuda Triangle or something, because boy, it sure disappeared in a hurry.
Okay, we did make it to the end of the row. So, uh, I believe we've still got a tractor hooked up to the trailer and it's sitting right over the silo dump. So, we don't have to look too far for that. And should be needing it this time around, I hope. There's a fluke. First one. Yeah, see, holding at a rock solid steady 60 frames again. But it just absolutely will not do that unless I uh, start the game in one X. Well, that's just strange. I've never seen that before. And I think I would have noticed it because the way I noticed this was walking um, just seemed to be stuttery, you know? And it was a noticeable enough thing that you got that whole kind of slideshow thing where it would seem to stop in between paces, so. And that was only with a five frame depth. I can imagine if it had been dropping to half the frames, how nasty that would look. But I guess it's a thing, and I'm not going to quit the map just because of that. I do kind of like this map. I say we may not be making super duper progress, but... So far, it seems reasonably well laid out. I don't have to go too far to deal with things. And even though there is lots of traffic, it's just annoying enough to make it immersive. <laughs> you know, it's not one of those ones where the traffic is like, right, that's it, I'm shutting it off, I can never get out of my farm without having an accident. And we've had an accident. just wasn't safe to leave the farm because the AI would just shut you down. Okay, well once again, it's not exactly going to be the biggest of crops. That's okay. We'll whittle away at this a bit at a time, and eventually we should show, uh, show a profit. I basically need to double what we have for money. And that'll give me enough to put a feeder in and buy some pigs. But I guess to start with, the thing to do is going to be buy some pigs. Because like I said, i got to kind of clear some of the potato and straw out of that area. I don't really know where else to put it, so... Easiest way would simply be get some pigs so we could dump it into the uh, appropriate areas. Because my silos, of course, won't hold it either. said it was at 74% and well, that's impossible. We've only done two and a half rows. I can see the shadow go all the way up the mountain, but I do not at any point actually see an airplane. 
That shit's freaky, man. That is just freaky. Oops, I didn't quite cut that one as much as I might have liked. That's alright. We haven't crushed no sunflowers yet. No, we will not be buying or leasing an animal trailer. We're just simply going to have the pigs delivered. It's only $100 a pig. Um, so... I believe the cheapest animal trailer is like 14k to buy. Might even be more than that. Let's have a quick look just for, you know. Okay, it's not under animals. That seems kind of strange that it's not under animals. Hmm. Trailers? Yeah, that would have been even stranger if it had been there. Oh, right, they have their own... Never mind. Oh, 24,000 for the cheapest one. This is pretty much useless. Holds two horses. That's it. See, so yeah, 24,000... The lease is $1,200, so... <clears throat> I guess if you considered leasing it... If you're gonna buy more than 12 pigs, it would work out less to lease it. So, yeah, hmm. Of course, then you do still have the uh, the added expense of having to drive a tractor back and forth two or three times. Because to get that dozen pigs, I don't think that trailer will hold a dozen pigs. So you're certainly looking at marking your trip time up. Yeah, I think we'll just uh, get them delivered and count as anything over a dozen of them as... Uh, Paying for convenience. No. Really? You're gonna do it to me right here, are you? Yeah. Unreal. Alright, well what I'm gonna do... Is I'm now gonna turn the straw swath off. There we go. Because I don't really wanna, you know... Ten straws laid out in a row as being this middle one. I do want the grain that's there, but yeah, I'm not going to uh, not going to bother putting down a row of straw that's almost too small to suck up. You know, that doesn't make a much of sense. Uh, 502. Well, this definitely has taken up the better part of the day. There we go. Yeah. 
yeah again not the hugest of uh, crops but it is what it is and we should make a buck or two from it Okay, let's go find out how many bucks or two that might be. Well, there's an airplane, look. I didn't notice a shadow this time, though. Of course, it is getting on in the day. Alright, so who's going to give me money? Uh, better question, who's going to give me really good money? 1166, 1180, looks like we're off to Garden Center Grain once again. So, Garden Center Grain. Oh, that's not the same one. That's Muchos further away. Let's go see what they're going to pay for just under 8,000 liters. Oh, not a lot. Not a lot at all. Let's get our beacon going because we're going to have to go out into public here with our sad little tray of goodies. And whereabouts are you anyway? Well, I'm pretty sure if we follow this down, okay, is it this one I want? I think it is, eh? this along. That's a nice little uh, pond, eh? And up here. Thank you. Alright. Oh, it's not nice. You mean I can't get in there from this side? Oh, come on. Unreal. I can barely get up this hill. Alright, it's going to be a better way to get in there. Four hundred bucks. Well, that's not too bad. So with this draw, that's a ten thousand dollar field. Eh? Well, less whatever it cost us to uh, make it. So okay. I 
think, for the route home. We'll just use our other method. So we got to get down here and fix this field up. <laughs> that was pretty close. Well, we are going to need this trailer for catching up with that guy, so we'll leave that there. Let's go grab our forage wagon. How are we doing for time? Oh, we don't have any. It is actually the uh, end of the episode time. Might as well turn our beacon off now that we're home. But we're at 44 grand, eh? Alright. Which means we have the money to get us some piggies. But we'll see what we've got after we sell this straw. But that's going to have to be next episode, I guess. said we are uh, 34 minutes in which pretty much counts as being an episode so do hope you guys enjoyed if you did please don't forget to hit that like button it would really help out the channel a bunch and uh, I do read and try and respond to your comments so if you'd like to leave a comment awesome until next time do take care of each other folks and ciao for now